Hello YouTube, and uh, I have featured some stop animation Lego videos, Lego videos in my channel before, and I've been asked how I make them. So this is a quick rundown of how I do it. Well, I'm going to say try and be quick. It might be quite a long video. Who knows? Basically, start off with the camera. This is a Canon EOS 1200D. Now any camera would do. This is not a very good camera. People who know cameras have told me before it's a rubbish camera. I don't care. Any camera that you've got, will do, you can do this with. It helps if you've got a fixed focus, so you can keep the focus constant throughout the shot and have it mounted on a tripod or something where you don't change your field of view. So your field of view of the subject always remains constant no matter what. Oh, do you like that? And then all we do is we take pictures of whatever we want to film and in between each picture we move the characters ever so slightly. So tiny, tiny amounts. It really depends on what you want to film and do. I mean. This is the easy bit, the tricky bit is the editing. So take your pictures of what you want to film and then we'll go from there. So I've taken some pictures and even if I flick through the pictures on the camera, you can see there is an animation coming up here. See they're walking in. Um, so yeah, so you can see that we have a video there. So all we've got to do now is go to the computer and edit that into a video. I've got my image here. I've got one frame that I want to edit and I've done that in paint. So I've opened up in paint and we're gonna make this lightsaber thing glow and explode. So we just wanna do, I will do, let's go. Oh, we need a bigger thing than that. Bigger. Okay, right, well, this isn't gonna work. We're gonna need a much bigger brush and some lines and big as you can get it that doesn't look wrong at all does it uh right we're gonna need to feel solid feel solid feel let's go oh it's all wonky Oh no, look, as you can tell, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, so as long as we're all aware of this, and I think we're fine. Oh, that would do. Basically, all we want to do is colour that in and make it look all explodey like. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to take some time. Yeah, talk so much yourselves. I might fast forward this bit. Ah, oh, it's rubbish. This is why coloring in frames is just a rubbish idea. And you're also wondering why why I'm doing this, and I sometimes wonder that myself. Zoom in. Oh, this looks so wrong, doesn't it? E now, obviously, there are better ways of doing this, and I never said I was good at anything. So it's your fault for watching the video. That way, I will skip through this. It's not to completely bore you. Now we want to have like shiny bits of like blast. Oh, that's the wrong color. Doesn't actually matter, does it? Just like that. You're thinking, what on earth is he doing? But trust me, the effect will be relatively good. Ish. and then we save that save and then that's our new frame I mean it looks like I've ruined it but I haven't I don't think cool that's working again so this is Caden Live as you can see up here Caden Live it's a free bit of software freely available to download very very good software so I want to grab my files I've just done where have I done I've done them in there I've done them in there so these are my pictures, and we're going to import them all into Caden Live. There they go. It's not as nice if you want to switch to some stupid resolution because they're pictures. I've kind of got this set to 1080p, which you want to leave, because I'm going to do it as a 1080p video. It just makes things a little bit easier. You can see there's our animation. If we do that, or do we want to do that? I want to do... 
that's fine. So basically all we've got to do is drag these in one at a time and I've got this set to a very short duration. We can change the duration. So it's one in, one in, into a timeline like this. And we actually zoom into a timeline. Make it a bit more visible what we're actually doing. Now this is probably the hardware doing it. And someone's going to turn around and say, oh, you can do it really easily. But I don't know what I'm doing. I sort of taught myself. So be kind. These will go in in here. Excuse the sound in the background. That's the washing machine going. And I will do this quite quickly. If I'm really slow doing this, I'll edit it out in the, in the edit. So you're not... Just watching me drag pictures onto the timeline because you know what I'm doing. Beep. 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 Right, actually, there's our edited frame there. You can see it. So that'd be great. So you can really scrub around the video and see what you're doing. So we go back to the beginning and then we can play this. Of course, this has got no audio. That crackling noise, for some reason, is just something my computer does. I don't know why. He picks up the stick. Ooh, ooh, and... Ah! So there's our basic video. Now, actually, the time that okay. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I mean, the front could be sped up a bit. So to speed it up, all we've got to do is change the clip duration, which is... Oh, we could do change speed, couldn't we? There you go. Can we speed it? Let's double... Let's do 150. Now that won't work because it's a clip, isn't it? Don't ignore me. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, duration, that's the one. I want to click edit duration. So I've got it set for 0.1 of a second. We can always change that to... 0.5 of a second and then that will make that clip shorter and you can actually change the um, properties of that in the in sense so we can go along we can change all these durations to 0.5 you can do this manually or it's somewhere in the settings deep in the settings you have the preference of doing this this is why Mine's already changed because I think by default it's like a second, like five seconds or something. Where is it? Somewhere in here. So I'm just going to go completely off a um, on the tangent again, aren't I? Uh, transitions, image clips. There you go. See that? So that's what you can change as the default there. Actually, we can do that now. Let's do that now. Let's do it to one five. Apply. Cancel. And then we can. Yeah. Ignore me. I'm going to get rid of all this timeline, and we can add it all again. And then when I add it again next time round, like so, these will already be. But that didn't work, did it? Ugh. Don't do what I tell you to do, because it's just a stupid idea. Oh man, this video's going to need a lot of editing, isn't it? Because I'm just rambling and being silly. Right. Right, so actually all I think we need to do is just change the bit at the edge where he's running. So, th that one. This one we should change. 0.5. Change that one. Change that one. that one 
And by changing these clips for small durations, we'll make it look faster. So now he's bang and ah, and he runs. See, that then bit is quicker. Right, so that is our video. Very short, very sweet. Well, not very sweet, you should say. But you get to see what the what the process is. But there's no audio got in the whole click it. So we need to get some sound. So that's the next thing to do is get some sound. This next bit of video, uh, unfortunately, in this is this is editing Matt here. Hello, editing Matt. Um, yeah, for some reason the audio hasn't recorded in this section of video, but basically it's sound freesound.org, and that's where I get all my sounds from. Uh, you want to choose non copyright sound if you can, and you basically just make an account, uh, log in, and then you search the sounds you want and download them for free. And this best website you can use, really, I think, for this, unless anyone else can suggest anything better. I'll leave the links in the description, but you can watch a little bit of me doing this, but effectively just download the sounds and put them in the video. So I'll just back this audio at the top so you've got something to listen to whilst you're watching me playing sounds. Have fun. So back in Caden Live, we are now going to import our sounds. So project add clip. And we want M2 sounds that we've just downloaded. Ding! So we've got Plasma Cannon and Gurdy Scream. So we find the clip where we have our Plasma Cannon. So it's when he's holding it. So there, that's quite a long clip, isn't it? As you can see. It's longer than what how long I think it's so yeah, let's this down. There's the explosion. I'm zooming on the explosion and we want to cut it. There. Let's see what that gives us. So let's zoom in a bit on that. When's the bit he picks it up? It's up there. So I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff at the beginning. This is a bit I don't buy high, I don't worry about it too much. So where's a bit where it explodes? Oh, that's almost perfect, isn't it? There. 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 So, we play again. The sound will be a bit off. See, the shooting's good. We've now got to edit that a little bit, so we do some audio correction on it. So you want to do a fade, fade, ah, fade in on there. We can also change the levels of this, but we'll see what that goes with. Go in. I wasn't paying attention. Brilliant. See, that works quite well. Now we need our girly screen. And... That works actually really well. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> right, so already I'm being like very childish here. So, full video. No sound at this beginning bit, which, you know, you could do random effects, but it's just. There you go. So all you've got to do now is render that out, render and export it and save it as you wish. So I'll just show you how to do that. I'll whack it into there, into there, and I'll just name this Lego Space Gun. <laughs> That'll do. MP4, I like MP4. And then just render the file. And then that will do. 
and that's it so I hope you enjoyed that give you a quick tip on how to do things there's basic ideas how you do it so you need to find your videos you need to you know find, do your um, pictures that you need and then it's finding the sounds on that website you can use other sounds that you have around but it's all just matching and mixing it together and using this Caden Live um, it's simple you just have to practice it and just give it a try and I'll just make it up as a go along so don't see why anyone else can't so yeah hope you enjoyed that hope it helps if it doesn't then tough so I'll see you later and uh, bye for now.